Hi, I'm Adam Riley, uh, Director of Engineering here at Enzo. And today I thought I'd walk you through using the Enzo product to solve one of the prepping days challenges. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the prepping days challenges, they're a series of weekly data analysis challenges set by the very talented people at the Information Lab. Uh, I think primarily designed to be solved in Tableau Prep, but you have to use them to practice your data skills in whatever data analysis tool you happen to use. Um, so this year we've got, uh, so I'm going to start 2024 week one. This year we're working with a fictional airline company. Uh, they're called Prep Air. Um, and they've just introduced a new loyalty card scheme called the Flow Card. And we're going to do some various tasks with their data around the Flow Card. Uh, so for the first challenge, they've given us a input file, which I've downloaded down here. I'm going to drag this across onto the graph editor background. Uh, and let's take a look at what we've got. Uh, they've got a screenshot of it over there, but let's check it out. And, and uh, okay, so to CSV, we've auto detected the delimiter. We've picked up the headers. That's all looking good. So what's it asking us to do? So we need to split the flight details field out. Okay, so the flight details have got this little double slash delimiter. So let's add a new component and we want to split the columns good um so flight details and the delimiter is this double four slash okay great so that's got the date that's the flight number okay so now the form and two is in another Field, so we're going to need to split that one again. Close that up. Move that one there. Um, right, so another split the columns. This time we're splitting flight details three. And we need to split that on the back. Okay. Yes, so there we've got Tokyo, New York. I think that's the farm and the two. Um, yes, I guess I need to clean up those names now. Move that up. And slightly narrower screen than usual. Uh, so economy, okay. Right. Let's do rename. What have we got? Flight details one. Eight. Flight details two. Flight number. Okay, this is when the lack of width is going to make life a little bit interesting for me. Uh, flight details 3-1, we think that is the from field. Um, flight details 3-2 is the two field. Then yeah, so this is really pushing the width out on my components, which if I could have done this a different way, but and class, and then finally, I'm not overly happy with the width of this component, but it's a future thing. Do we fix it in the product? But okay. Let's go back up to the main flow and check that's looking good. Okay, so we've got date, flight number, from to economy price, that decent. Okay, what do we want to do next? So convert the following data field to the correct date type. So date to a date format, price to decimal value. Okay, so actually, 
let's check what the tabs are. Let's drop a info column on briefly and see what we're on. So, yeah, the date is currently a chart and price is also currently a chart because they've come in from that split. So if I do a pass, I think by default, the pass will tend to auto pass all of the spring fields. Oh, sorry. Let me just put that down. Okay, so then if I drop that in there, that get it right. So we've got the day going to a date and we've got price going to a float. So good. Let's just remove that info now and check the data is looking right for that date field. Yep, so that's looking good and it's looking good on the price. Great, so let's move that up. Okay, change the flow card field to a yes, no value instead of a one zero. Okay, so flow card currently a one zero. I could do that expression. I wonder, can I pass that? Let's try this. Um, might or might not work. Uh, I think I've gone up in the format. So if I pass the <clears throat> flow card to a boolean value, which it actually is, and the format is a one zero, and over the Pass once the path of text field, so that's not going to work. Let's write the expression. Probably made that work if I was being clever, but let's do it this way. Okay, so value is an expression. And I think I want the expression to say. Yeah. Flow card equals one, then yes, else no. Do what I want. No, because I type play card wrong. Uh, oh, I, no, wait, let's look what the field actually called. Field is called play card capital F capital. It's the okay, so that has created a new field over there that looks. Correct. And if I say to update, uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to overwrite the existing field. So let's do load card, correct mark for the new name. There we go. So that's now updated the field in place. Uh, create two tables, one for flow card holders and one for non flow card holders. Okay. And I'll update that. So let's filter it down. And do flow card equals. Value yes, so there's all my yes ones. Just write those out. Um, Put it in the same folder. Uh, 
Load. If they were format it once, it doesn't. I should go CSV then. Okay. Um, and then I want another one. So I'm going to copy this node. And I'm going to, instead of keeping where it goes yet, I'm going to remove where it goes yet. That's going to give me all the nodes. And then copy this component. Hook it up into here. And now this one is non play card. Uh, so remember in Enzo, although it's running live all the time, yeah, but the warning tells us, but output it doesn't actually write until we either switch into record mode or press the record once button. So I'm going to press the record once button in this case. And if I got it right, yep, we get. Flow car customers on the non flow car customers down here. So that is prepping data 2024 week one. I've done in and there.